सो वेलकम गाइज टू अ न्यू वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रैक नोआ फिफ्टीन सेटेलाइट विच इज एज यू कैन सी वी आर यूजिंग अस्ट्रेलरियम सॉफ्टेलरियम ऐप ऑन एंड्रॉयड एंड देर यू कैन सी दी नोआ फिफ्टीन राइट देयर इन दी साउथ ईस्ट कॉर्नर कमिंग एव द हॉराइजन टूडेज पास वुड बी दी एलिवेशन ऑफ थर्टी फोर डिग्री एंड we are going to capture this with this 137 megahertz yagi antenna that has a dipole there you can see i will give the appropriate dimension of this antenna and there you can see the uh, the reflector and the two dipole and there is the director and the connection that we uh, diy this to this um, SMA connector and through the factory cable RG174 uh, 147 I presume and going to the RTL SDR vlog V3 and uh, we are running this in SDR console and we are ready to record the uh, APT signal or the analog picture transmission automatic picture transmission which the signal would look like uh, in the analog fashion and uh, there you can see the uh, signals and uh, the frequency that uh, that will be no 15 will be transmitting over actually uh, 137.620 i presume but we have to compensate because uh, the satellite is moving and due to doppler shift we may have different frequencies so we have to compensate that we just have to scroll a little bit so that the high resolution data can uh, record and uh, so right now we are just waiting and the pass uh, so it's today is uh, 6th september 2024 and uh, it's about uh, 6 pm and uh, we are waiting the the elevation the pass will start about uh, 1802 hours or 602 pm and uh, the satellite is currently moving across the horizon and we will see the satellite in any minute now we just have to wait so as you guys know this is all about waiting game and our setup is ready to uh, view and record the data so we will just make sure everything is up to the setting and we will start recording once the satellite is visible to us and as you guys know the the pass of the satellite has begun and we are still we are receiving something and we just have to wide our bandwidth so that the picture transmission can be received so it should receive over the narrow band fm and we will start the record and just to reduce the noise we will narrow the bandwidth we will zoom the signal a bit so that higher resolution can be received there you can see the signal is coming and our recording has started I hope recording is going on. As you guys can hear the clear recording. And we have to compensate the frequency shift of this 
set up there you can see the stronger signal you have to increase the band with a bit because we are actually receiving signal right now you just have to scroll it a bit because the satellite is moving uh, farther apart from the southeast corner to its trajectory so as the satellite comes by the frequency increases and as the satellite goes by the frequency will decrease that's called Doppler shift so as you guys can see we are receiving the signal and uh, we are actually recording right now I have chosen to record in audio format so I hope recording is going well I don't wanna disturb this what I could do is I could uh, record this whole bass band 2.4 uh, megahertz whole band and then play that into the PC and then uh, extract the uh, re recorded audio but uh, but I chose uh, not to because the file size would be very big again this laptop is not mine I have borrowed from a friend so for a 15 minute pass in the baseband recording the file size over 6 GB or something so I just chose the analog signal I just have to widen the band a bit and we are recording right now there you can see the timestamp uh, 3 minute 11 3 minute 12 so actually we are recording the whole signal so that's a good sign and currently uh, the elevation is a bit low but we still are receiving quite strong signal right now as you guys can see the signal strength is high and there I think that's a LRPT signal that the NOAA satellite is actually uh, receiving so it's my bad if I recorded to the baseband version I could have recorded that also but yeah it's fine we will do this next time so as you can see the frequency has shipped so I have to compensate that to match the frequency as you can see and we have changed the frequency as well and there you can see the frequency currently 137.622 and it's supposed to transmit around 137.620 so we the signal strength is quite good and I think that's the LRPT signal but I'm not sure I have never received it or decoded it next time we will do that coming over to the human tracking system as you can see we are currently recording with quite accuracy accurately Obviously. we we have also built a automatic tracker automatic satellite tracking system so the tracking system inspired by the mk1 the sarknet mk1 rotator so uh, we that's that's currently that's currently in progress right now and you can see all the updates to my channel if you guys subscribe to this channel and that's that is that's going to be the autonomous kind of tracker you can track it with g predict or other kind of softwares and it will automatically
track the whole system as you can see the signal is actually receiving quite strongly right now and frequency also have shift now it's 6. Uh, 6.620 quite strong signal right now and elevation is quite high 34 degree and we have chosen a wide field right now so the obstruction could not interfere with our measurements and with the elevation you can see the signal is okay and it is currently over there and system is recording right now sun has set and there you can see the moon and there is the setup after receiving the signal uh, you have to receive it obviously in wave format and after receiving the signal we have chosen the uh, NOAA APT because the signal is actually APT signal that is coming from NOAA 15 and we have selected that we have selected the uh, file that is in wave format as you guys can see we have selected the output directory and we have chosen the uh, base, not the baseband the audio wave uh, format and then uh, we have started the um, decoding of the uh, signal then you can see a uh, lots of uh, warning messages or error messages just ignore this because uh, in our setup we have not uh, recorded in a very high quality but uh, it's still a image uh, because we have collected the raw data and uh, we this will do bunch of this processing work and notification work and you just have to wait until the process is being finished so there is a error that is called incomplete uh, error making uh, json file that's something to do with telemetry data that it uh, didn't recorded but uh, the decode has been finished and if we go to the NOAA 15 folder and go to the database here you can see the image that we took actually right there and if we open the uh, image to a window there you can see quite high resolution pictures and lots of gradings to it lots of color pictures and you can see a quite a strong picture and it's quite in resolution so our uh, raw data looks looks like kind of like this so our picture is actually quite decent and yeah so we have successfully recorded NOAA 15 pass but although the pass was a little lower uh, about 34 degree elevation but we still got the signal there you can see a uh, bit blur but uh, we still managed to collect the data and yeah that's fun so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and uh, uh, so until for the next video subscribe like share and I will post more of these videos more frequently so bye bye